As I got older and wiser, I began to realise that there's much more to flying than meets the eye. Every takeoff was like a little journey, a little philosophical adventure. You could become like a bird, and for a little while you could see the earth like through a seagull's eyes. My name is Tim Cox, and I've been flying for 30 years. We're going to our private flying site. It faces north. Today we have a light north wind and sunshine. And it's November. I've had to learn a lot, really, in terms of understanding what people's fears are. It's a huge step forwards. They're hurling themselves off the height of a house underneath a bit of nylon, and they're having to trust not so much in the equipment, but they're trusting in me. OK, guys, let's go and have a look at the wind. Pull down these pulleys about halfway. Yeah. Beautiful, <laughs> so nice. The highlight of the month, whenever it happens. The real privilege is when you take a little group of new pilots and they thermal up and you drift down the valley and then you all land together in a little field. And the collective euphoria is wonderful. It's almost like you fulfilled what humans were designed to do, which is cooperate happily together. The freedom of flying, that's the best thing about it, is uh, being up there with the elements by yourself. You kind of feel more one with everything. You can fly, you can literally fly. I think one of the main things that I've learned from flying is trying to get into the head of a bird. And if I think I've got me bird eyes on, I have this strange insight into what it is to be something wild. And I think this has taught me to have a deep respect for nature. This is them circling in a thermal. That is a thermal. You see the shape of it? Mm -hmm. I've taught about a thousand people a year for over a couple of decades to at least at some point get their feet off the ground, even if just for a few flights. And I say the net good that that has done in terms of people's enhanced self-worth has only made them more pleasant to talk to when they get home. People who fly here today will go home smiling. They will have done something that has enriched their lives. And I think we've added to the general good. And so I've got no time for competition. I like to move at a human pace through this world and take it all in and appreciate this staggering insight into this little blue globe that floats through space and allows us these stunning views every now and then, these fleeting understandings of, of the enormity of it all.